What's up guys, Dylan with Double Shots, and today we're going to be doing another NFL, Madden NFL, season prediction video for week one. We're going to do three parts. We did part one last week, but we're going to do the, the other two parts, so this video and then the next part this week. Now before we go any further, if you guys like our content, please subscribe down below this video right now as we are inching closer to 400 subscribers. Give this video a like. Comment if you want to see something else. And I'm predicting Jacksonville will win this game. Yeah, ESPN. I think that was ESPN that had that playoff prediction for the NFL. A couple of my, a couple of my favorite teams. Um, the Cowboys. The Cowboys. They said they are going to go to the playoffs. But they said they they were gonna lose to the Saints. Um, they said the Jaguars will be will be in it, and they'll make it past the wild card round. For the Chiefs and the Browns, there's it's gonna be a, a divisional round rematch. <laughs> but they're saying the Browns will advance. And you know who they're saying the Super Bowl champion will be? They're saying the Super Bowl champion will be the Buffalo Bills. Huh. I don't think it's going to be Buffalo. I mean, I have a great feeling they'll win it in the near future, but... But do you really think they're going to win it this year? No. I mean, unless if they... Unless if... They're like really good. I mean, both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. That coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the I mean, Josh Allen in the last season had a breakout season, I should say. And we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to The Bills, they did good in 2020. Well, not, not just good. In playoff wise, they went from eliminated in the wild card in the 2019 season. Well, in other words, the 2020 playoffs. They went from that to them going to the AFC Championship in 2020. Or in other words, the 2021 playoffs. Now, as we know, the um, the Houston Texans they lost a big key player. Um, or should I even call him a key player? His name is J 
J.J. Watt. He's a he's now a Arizona Cardinal. I believe he'll do good with the Cardinals. So we are going to the second quarter. Final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And the Jaguars won the final game of the preseason. Now, I was telling my friend CJ about that. If you don't know who he is, he talks a lot about football. Wait, what play am I doing? I'm doing one of those plays. I don't know what I'm doing there. That is a flag. It's probably holding for the offense like normal. Oh, defense. Touchdown. Oh, no. Close, though, but. And I believe the Texans also lost. If I'm correct, I'm probably wrong on this one. I most likely am. But I believe they also lost. Deshaun Watson. I mean, I believe they still have him, but at the same time, I don't know if they still have him. I don't pay attention to the Texans too much. You gotta make sure they just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit. And try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. As I was saying, but I think around that time the quarter ended. About the final game of the preseason. I was talking to my friend CJ. And he said... That Jacksonville was using their starters, and <laughs> Dallas was using their backups. Do you really think that happened? No. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives out getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first. That's gonna get them their first ever first down of this game. Because normally preseason's all your back. Because normally in a preseason game, it's all... I've said this a couple times, but I'm going to say it again. Preseason games are all your backups, okay? Imagine... If you watch baseball, imagine spring training. That's what it is. Oh, they're calling a no huddle on this one. Oh, he's a. Oh, he's no. They're no huddling this one. That's not me. That's the offense. They're no huddling. Alright, on this one, they won't. Uh, they will huddle. Alright, better. Kind of. So, a minute left. And, and in two days, guys, in two days, the NFL season will begin with that, um, with that, with, um, the Buccaneers versus the Cowboys. Again, I said the Buccaneers are going to win. They're going to win. 
They're gonna win for sure. They're they're gonna beat Prescott. They're gonna. All right. Here's our first timeout. Third and thirteen. That ball is dropped. So they will go for their first points of the game. And surprisingly, the Colts. I think I said this before. The Colts, they're doing good, even though they're without Carson Wentz. I believe the Colts will probably make another run to the postseason this year. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Let's try to do. And I will have the ball in the third quarter. Ooh! A 34 yard return at the 34. Technically, it says 36. I guess I started a couple of yards more in on the end zone, but. Wow. That's a good return. I mean, the question is will Jacksonville have a good season? Will Jacksonville have a good season this year? Will they be better than last year? Um, they they do have a a college a former college football coach. His name is Urban Myers. I feel like he'll do. I feel like he'll do good in a Jacksonville as a Jacksonville Jaguars coach. And they have a rookie. His name is a uh, rookie quarterback. His name is. I believe it's Trevor Lawrence. It might be Trey Lawrence. No, I'm thinking Trey Lance. He's a 49er. He's probably Trevor Lawrence, but... I mean, if you're a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, hopefully you don't go 16 and 1 like last year. Oh no. Wait. It should be 15. Wait. Is it 16 and 1? Or is it 15 and 1? Because this year the season's 18 weeks. Oh, I'm going to go for the field goal. I didn't move it a lot, so I'm probably going to miss. Why did I do that? And the quarterback is going to get sacked. I was even talking to talking to CJ about um and guys like I said if you don't know who he is he's my friend and he he likes to talk about football ask him a question he probably knows it 
And if you were to ask a question, I would... There's actually a couple videos. He's done, he's done like four NFL top ten videos. He's done... Top ten... No, top 32 starting quarterbacks. Like, in their stats and that. Top ten offensive linemen. The funniest one is the top ten underrated players. And he has a... He has a top 10 tight ends going into the 2021 season. Even, even though he accidentally said, he accidentally said 2020. If you read the title, you know what he's trying to say. Top 10, you know, going into 2021 season. If I want to get, if I, if I want to start doing top 10 football videos for me personal, for, you know, doing myself, like, if I were to do an NFL Top 10 video, like, over the 2021 season, after the 2021 season is over, then I need to start watching lots of football. Not just, not just Cowboys and Chiefs and that's it. It's more than just that. It needs to be the Texans, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Buccaneers, the Broncos, the Panthers, and you get the rest. And they'll get their first touchdown of the game. You know what? Comment your odds on the. Comment the odds of um. The what you call it's going. On the Cardinals. Yeah, come in your odds on the Cardinals going to the playoffs this year. Another good return. Up to the 33-yard line. If you want to get farther, you just... If, you, if you're an Xbox player and... If you play on the Xbox, this button would be for sprinting. Ha! Touchdown. How about we add one more? 21 to 11, so... I might do one or two parts for week two. How about this? I'm gonna do one to two parts. You know, if, you know, if I feel like I'm not uploading enough, I'll just do like a secondary part. You know, the reason why I'm doing this is just to kind of keep the uploads going. Cause lately I've been, we haven't been uploading a lot in videos. We are nearing the two minute warning. I believe we're getting ready to hit the two minute warning. After this play, we'll be in the two minute warning. Yep, two minute warning. With a minute, technically, if it's if you're, if you're still in the middle of the play, like while the play is going on, and when it passes two minutes, you're still going to be on the two minute warning. Well, it'll just be a couple of seconds. Short. Interceptor, dude, look at that. If there is a replay, they would show it. After when he caught it, he like fell. Yeah, he fell after he caught it. Oh, 
Oh, who called that one? Who called that? Oh, Houston called that. I didn't call that one. Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. It's Minshew. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Come on, throw. Oh, he's faking? Looking left side, that's complete to Oliver. Hey, at least he'll get the first down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. On first down. We need to continue. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Go line. Go line. We're gonna go. Oh, uh, I'm using the QB sneak. Why did I do that? But there's eight seconds remaining in the game. So if he's, so if the quarterback gets sacked, then it'll be a safety. And that will be game 21 to 11 will be the final. So that's my prediction. 21 to 11 Jacksonville. Again, I am wanting Jacksonville to win the game. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. If you guys like our content, subscribe down below this video right now. Give this video a big like. Comment if you want to see something else. And again, Subscribe because we are inching closer to 400 subscribers. Wow, that's a big number. Until, until I see you guys next time.